and welcome back ladies and gentlemen as you can see i'm staring at an enderman figured i'd start recording now as soon as you turn around you should appear behind me ah oh, they hit really hard they suck but yeah um i did some work on the uh wall as you can see i haven't completed it i've just uh, was just basically putting out the actual like wall parts i'll put all the lovely crenellations and Everything else that makes everything look wonderful. Oh, they're sons of bitches. Here he comes, here he comes. Oh, you bastard. They also like they like, like to run away too. Like if they're getting their ass kicked, nine times out of ten they're gonna just teleport away to live to fight another day. Because their asses they are big fucking assholes. All right, all we have left of our boots. <laughs> Everything else is broken, so we definitely need to get some more armor going. Oh wait, no, there's a helm. Yay! There's our helmet. I got some snowballs. In case you didn't know, if you uh, hit snow with a shovel, you get snowballs, and they're fun. They don't do any damage, even though it looks like they're doing damage. They're not actually doing any damage. Man, just whack the ground, whack the snow with the shovel, you get yourself a bunch of snowballs. I phone your friends. Playing snowballs. They're fun. Anyway, um, yeah. As you can see, I stopped right here because I kind of felt like I wanted to do something with this. Um, so I'm slowly starting to bring uh, that wall around. There's a creeper in our garden. That's what we're going to work on today, by the way. We're going to work on this to make it look really pretty garden. Show you guys some, like, potted plant recipes. You know, basically just like little things that you can do to make stuff look really nice. Um, anyway, I thought I was going to do like a like an above ground dock. Build like an airship on it or something. Nothing too crazy, but like a floating dock right here on the river for a, for an airship. Because uh, this river is too small for a boat, but the sky as big as you want. It's not going to be a big airship. It's going to be something simple. But we need more wool, so... Because I want to make the sails out of wool, of course. So, we need to start breeding these sheep and make a pair of shears so we can start cutting their wool. So anyway, um, we're going to finish the wall. The wall's going to look real nice. Um, I'll probably, again, do that off camera because it's kind of boring. It's tedious over and over. It's pa placing blocks. I'm not even falling that far, so there's nothing like uh, me falling and dying. That's not really going to happen. So, yeah. Boring. Not going to record it. Um, we're, this episode, we're going to work on the park, make it look really nice, and then uh, maybe spitball some ideas for the airship dock. So, let's get started. The first thing I want to do, actually, is uh, plant this flower and this flower. Then I want to walk through here. Um, I need my nether brick stairs. I'm going to go ahead and run outside real quick and put up the nether brick stairs uh, up here. There we go. Now, keep in mind, gravel's going to be on top of here, so that's going to be as low as that can go. There we go. I just wanted to do that real quick. Just kind of make it look more like an entrance rather than a random bunch of cobblestone. All right. Let's toss our seeds in here. Nether rack. Oh, wait. Need our steak. Not that much steak. I don't want to die and lose all that steak. Toss some dirt. Don't need our jack-o'-lanterns. Hold on to our torches. Um... We could probably harvest our wheat. I think it's been enough time. Yep, wheat is ready to harvest. Bam. Very cool. And now uh, planting wheat again. There we go. All right. Very nice. All right, now that we've taken care of that, what we can do is we can go over to our sheep and um, get them to make some babies. After we make some shears. Now, to make shears, um, I think it's two, just like this. You do that. Okay, yeah, just two iron make you some shears. Now, shears are cool because they work on vines and tree leaves as well. Um, so you can cut down uh, you can cut down vines and place them again 
as a, then they work just like ladders. And then you can cut down, uh, you can use the shears to cut down leaves, and you can actually place the leaves then like a block, which is really cool. But the most useful thing about shears is the ability to get wool off sheep. Just right click a sheep, off their wool comes. It is fantastic. And then they walk around looking silly. The sheep and the sheep make babies. That sheep make babies too. Okay. I thought I had more sheep than that. Oh well. We have plenty of sheep out in the open. No chickens. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our shears and we're going to head uh, outside of the castle. And get some of these sheep. Gotcha, bitch. I see you, spider. I'm ignoring you for now. I'll turn around. Whack you. Bam. Sucker. Bam, Jive Sucker. This texture pack has a lot of scary looking mobs. I kind of just want white sheep or blue sheep. I guess I'm not sure if you can re-dye stuff that's already a certain color that isn't white. Like, I don't know if you can turn gray wool into blue wool, etc. Cetera, et cetera. Because that's what I'm going to use that lapis for. I'm going to use that lapis to basically color wool blue, which makes me laugh because I remember in an earlier episode I was thinking about how crazy that is to actually need that much wool that you'd want to be able to farm lapis. Yeah, and here I am. Needing that much wool and wanting to farm lappies. <laughs> but anyway, we'll have to test it. Um, but I'm not too worried about it right now. I just figured I'd run out here and gather some wool while we wait for the sun to rise. And uh, you can see our fires burning off in the distance. Look at that. We need a we need a castle. I'm not a castle. I'm not building a castle. Fuck you guys. Um, <laughs> I actually did that as well uh, before I decided to do this. I was playing around in Minecraft in creative mode and I built some crazy big castle. It looks pretty cool, but I got bored with building the towers because I made them so high. So I got bored really quick because I got tired of building towers. But all things considered, we do need some sort of tall structure here. To kind of that you can see in the distance. I think that'd be really cool. Oh yeah, let's see if we can dye wool different colors. Oh man. Yeah, you can do it with white wool, but I guess wool that's already been uh, colorized doesn't work. That sucks. That sucks a lot. What a waste. What a waste. Throw a snowball in there. Oh yeah, we also want our string in there. Oh, I had steak on me this whole time and I'm starving to death. Jesus. Alright, well. What we can definitely get started on is... Our very, very pretty uh, garden that we're going to build over there. So, what we're going to do is we're going to grab ourselves some of the... Oh, do we not have any more? I wanted to use this color. Actually, you know what? This will work just fine. Actually, I do still want some. I want contrasting wood colors. The only problem is, is the pattern is different on each piece of wood. Which I guess is fine, but, you know. I kind of wish the pattern was the same. Skip and hop. Now, I bet you're wondering why I'm not grabbing a bunch of flowers. That's because I don't need a bunch of flowers. Well, okay, I think I might need a couple flowers for a couple things I want to do. But there's something else that we can do with bone meal uh, other than just grow uh, food. We can also use bone meal on the grass, like just right on the gr grass block. And in like a 3x3 three three, or like 3x4, like random ass radius, sometimes it's big, sometimes it's small. Um, it grows, it'll go grass and like randomly grow flowers and stuff. It'll basically make the grass grow all pretty. And it's really nice. And that's kind of what I was planning on doing with the park a little bit. 
Um, I'll have to go over there and see like exactly how much room I have to work with. This is probably enough wood right here. Yeah, there's plenty of wood. Okay, cool. Let's get back to our base. And I'm kind of thinking the wall is kind of, kind of small. But then again, it's a very hilly area, so there's going to be points where you can't see the wall. That's okay. All right, let's run on over here. Oh, they grew back already? Awesome. No, chicken. Do I have my weed on me? I don't. We lost the chicken. Where's the grown-up one? Wow, they came back already. Okay, there are four in here. I'm like, where's the fucking fourth one? I can't believe they grew already. Just picking up all of our chicken eggs. So we can throw them at the ground. Got a baby chicken. We're going to kill these two chickens. For their chicken meat. And we're going to kill that other chicken if we find him. There he is. You cannot be free. Die, chicken! Well, he shouldn't have ran away. We definitely want to make sure we're harvesting these pumpkins round the clock, because we need a bunch. And you can you can break the pumpkins with anything. You don't actually you don't necessarily have to use an axe like I've been doing. I just broke it with my hoe. Okay, what I wanted to do was I wanted to kind of contrast the two colors a little bit. Um, I like these little wood pieces, uh, not wood, these little dirt pieces in here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and, and replace those with the white wood. Uh, getting sucked in by the current. Alright, almost done. Oh no. Now we're going to take the surrounding area and basically do the same layout that it, has, that it is right now in dirt, but change it to wood. Because this little area over here actually is as a natural, it's naturally very nice looking. Remember there's wood up there. Look at that, that looks amazing. <laughs> it's not quite done yet either. Now up here what we're gonna do and just a two by two around it, we're gonna do the white wood. Oh, 
<laughs> I got worried everything. I was like, oh man, they ran out of wood. Now, just like before, there was a... Uh, now, I know our gravel path is going to be going right through here. So, what I want to do is go ahead and... Did my shovel break? It did. Ah, I'm going to get another one. I'm going to go ahead and start what I was doing right here. There we go. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and grab more of this wood and a couple fences and we are going to make a couple f uh, fence gates too. I think we're going to need three. I don't think we'll actually use three. I know we'll use two for sure, but I'm just grabbing some stuff just in case. Go ahead and toss those in there. Um, toss the rest of our wool in there. Sapling seeds, uh, feathers don't go in here. Feathers go in there. Chicken's done. Put that chicken in there. Okay, we needed another uh, shovel. So let's go ahead and grab one piece of iron. Another nice thing about iron, as I sure explained before, is that if you lose it, it's not that big of a deal. As if, like, like you losing, like, a, a diamond one. Gold is stupid. I don't know why you'd ever make gold tools. I make gold armor because it's kind of like whatever. It's going to get destroyed anyway. At least it'll provide me some protection for a limited amount of time. But gold tools, it's like, it's not any faster. It's not faster than iron. And it breaks, like, immediately. Not immediately, but it takes a minute. Do I want that there? No, I don't. I don't. I thought I did. I do not. Then we're going to go ahead and put the white one right here. We got to be a little bit uh, conservative with our, our white blocks because uh, we don't have any more. I have to go get some more if we lose all, use all these. And then um, we'll go ahead and do that same thing right here. real nice that looks fucking amazing <laughs> it's not even done yet I've got other things I got a couple other tricks up my up my sleeve um, so I'm thinking that we should probably move this gravel area over one sure because I want to want to do really I should move it over one and like down one but that would look silly hmm yeah see this looks really cool right now but once we have the gravel thing set up it won't look as cool nah it definitely still looks cool <laughs> So I guess we didn't really need the fence posts or anything after all. Though we could do a little bit of decorating with them. Hmm. Whoop. 
Okay, we need buckets of water ASAP. Oh, it's Derek. I'm like, what the fuck is that? <laughs> Those I'm definitely keeping. They add to the look, but I'm wanna, I want to spread them out a little bit. That's a little bit better. Okay, we need our water bucket. Jesus. They all grew back already. Tons of pumpkins. Told you, the pumpkins grow super fast. Just like those melons. Um, hold on to our shears. Yeah, water bucket. Bucket of water. Now we're going to have to run down here twice because we're going to make an infinite water pool up there. Because I actually was working on something already when I started messing around with the wall. I saw, I saw an opportunity and I had to go with it. Oh yes. Oh yes, a waterfall. How amazing is that? Super duper amazing. Now, after this, I'm not sure. Well, okay, I know what I want to do. It's just, uh, I wanted waterfalls to be in other locations. Ow, ow. Not very deep, no diving. That looks pretty cool. Hmm. I don't know, it, it looks kind of boring to me. It looks very, well, boring to me. So what I'm gonna do is do this. See, that looks much more exciting. <laughs> hmm. How about this? There we go. Uh, pick this one up. Just put it over there for now. Pick this one up. Put it over there for now. Um, I kind of have something else I want to try. Oop. Okay, pick this one up. Put it right there. Pick this one up. Put it right there. Pick this one up. Because I don't know where that came from. There we go. I think split down the middle like that. It might actually look a little bit better. Which it does. Very cool. I know. I like the texture pack. I like. I, I like. I like what the water way the water looks in this texture pack. It's just um, <laughs> like when it's just standing still, it looks really nice. But like when it's supposed to be flowing, it still kind of looks like it's just standing still. Whoa. Whoa! Who the hell does he think he is getting up in here? Dude, there's a spider in here too! What the fuck? Fuck you and your bitch ass spider self. Damn, man, we need to get these walls finished and lit up. It's another reason why they're getting in here, is because there are a lot of areas that aren't lit up. So, speaking of lighting stuff up, um, we need to do some clever lighting to make this thing look really cool. So, let's go ahead and stick a light right there. I wish I could put a light under the water. Well, I can, and that's what I'm going to do with well, one thing, actually. Let's put a torch, um, like, right there. I heard like zombies footsteps. I was like, no. Um, put our extra water right there. Mm. 
There we go. Just kind of even it out a little bit. Perfect. Now, obviously, we want a torch like right here. And like right there. And now, for the final and last thing. Let's go ahead and farm our pumpkins. You gotta be really careful when you're picking up these pumpkins because you don't want to accidentally smack your vine because then you have to wait for the vine to grow back and the vine does take a minute. So don't get too, you know, uh, axe crazy when you're chopping these things. Uh, I want to use some glowstone. The last of our glowstone dust to make a piece of glowstone that we can put under the water, which would look absolutely fantastic. I actually wanted to use a glowstone, uh, use the glowstone behind the waterfalls as well. However, I, that would require me to go back to the Nether, which I don't really want to do because the Nether's scary. So right there. Wow, light does not shine very well. Um, now, normally, this would look amazing, but given the texture pack, it doesn't really shine. Oh, that and the sun's coming up. It doesn't really shine through very well. I think it's a mixture of the texture pack and the uh, shader mod. Because as I'm sure you've noticed, I've had a couple weird shader glitches that I don't normally get with uh, the other texture pack that I usually use. I just wanted something different for this, for this uh, Let's Play. But it's a lovely texture pack, but it doesn't seem to play nice with the uh, shader mod, which is fine. Like, it still does its job and still looks good. It's just there are a few uh, lighting glitches. Alright, so let's take our 43 sugar cane. And go ahead and make, uh, make sure we got uh, enough wood on us. We do. Okay, let's split these up and make ourselves some lovely, lovely books. Okay. Wrong way. There we go. We always have some left over. It's so annoying. <laughs> I always do it the wrong way. But at least this time we'll have an even amount. We won't have any left over books at least. I know I'm losing my mind. There we go. Five bookshelves. Oh, I lost my mind for a second. I was like, what the hell? The room's uneven. Man, everything's such higher level. Then again, like I said, the more books we add, the higher level the uh, enchants in here will be. Alright, well, I think that's a good time to end the episode, guys. Um, our park looks absolutely fantastic. I might uh, do a few more things to it, but for the most part right now, it looks really good. It does, actually. <laughs> it looks really nice. That turned out amazing. Um, I wish the water kind of flowed a little bit better as far as the way it looks. Um, but I like this texture pack. But anyway, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed uh, this episode. And uh, I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye. Okay,